there is a certain wonder in caves that you just don't find on the surface. The opportunities to see things that so few other people will ever see. Occasionally, we do find unusual creatures that live there. It's, it's still very, very much an unknown world. Sung Dung Cave in the heart of Phong NHA, Ke Bang National Park, Vietnam, holds the title of the world's largest cave. This cavern, I mean, I, you can't imagine how tall this is right now. Aptly named Mountain River Cave, this immense cavern boasts a river running through its vast expanse. The cave's discovery is a fascinating tale of chance and exploration. In 1991, a local farmer named Ho Khan stumbled upon its entrance while seeking shelter from a storm. Despite this early discovery, the cave's true enormity remained a mystery until 2009, when British cavers, led by Howard and Deb Limbert from the British Cave Research Association, conducted a thorough exploration and mapping of the site, unveiling its full grandeur. Sun Dung Cave is staggeringly vast, measuring over five and a half miles in length. Its ceilings soar up to 650 feet high, with some sections stretching as wide as 490 feet. To put this into perspective, the cave could easily accommodate a New York City block complete with 40-story skyscrapers. The main passage alone is more than 3.1 miles long, ranking it among the most expansive underground spaces ever discovered. The sheer scale of Son Dung is mind-boggling, making it a true natural wonder. The geological formation of Sun Dung Cave dates back approximately two to five million years. The cave was sculpted by the persistent flow of river water, eroding the limestone beneath the Anamite Mountains. Over time, the roof of the river's tunnel collapsed, creating massive skylights that allowed sunlight to pour in and a jungle to flourish within the cave. That hole up there uh, collapsed and dropped all of this rubble here. Sun Dung Cave is renowned for its monumental stalagmites, some of which reach towering heights of up to 230 feet. These majestic limestone formations, created by the slow drip of mineral-rich water over millions of years, are among the tallest in the world. To visualize their scale, consider that the largest stalagmites in Son Dung are taller than the Statue of Liberty. Equally impressive stalactites hang from the cave ceiling, forming intricate chandeliers of stone. A dynamic, fast-flowing river courses through Son Dung Cave, primarily fed by seasonal rains. This river has sculpted the cave's smooth rock formations and carved out deep, crystal-clear pools and lakes. During the rainy season, the river swells, rendering parts of the cave inaccessible due to flooding. These aquatic features not only enhance the cave's aesthetic, but also contribute to its unique ecosystem. The sound of rushing water echoes through the vast chambers, creating a serene yet powerful ambience. The river's erosive power over millions of years is responsible for much of the cave's enormous size and intricate rock formations. The sound here, or the lack thereof, is deafening. In a remarkable natural phenomenon, sections of Sun Dung Cave host their own thriving ecosystems, often referred to as the Garden of Edom. These jungles exist due to roof collapses that have created large skylights, allowing sunlight to penetrate the cave's depths. This natural light supports the growth of unique flora, including small trees, ferns and mosses, which thrive in the humid environment. The sight of a verdant jungle flourishing hundreds of feet below the surface is surreal, making these areas look like a lost world hidden beneath the earth. This lush greenery contrasts starkly with the surrounding limestone formations, adding to the cave's mystique. Sun Dung Cave's floor is sprinkled with rare cave pearls, a natural phenomenon where layers of calcium carbonate accumulate around grains of sand over centuries. These pearls, some as large as baseballs, are formed in pools where water agitation keeps the nuclei in constant motion, allowing even coating. The presence of such large and perfectly rounded cave pearls is exceptionally rare, making them one of the cave's most fascinating features. One of the most iconic formations within Sun Dung Cave is the Hand of Dog Stalagmite, a structure resembling a giant dog's paw. This formation has become a popular landmark for explorers, symbolizing the cave's grandeur and the whimsical shapes nature can produce. 
The hand of dog serves as a point of reference within the vast expanse of the cave, often appearing in photographs that capture the cave's interior. Its unique shape sparks the imagination, adding an element of wonder and personality to the already awe-inspiring cave environment. The cave walls of Son Dung are adorned with ancient fossils, providing a glimpse into the region's prehistoric past. Among these fossils are remnants of marine life, indicating that this area was once submerged under a vast ocean millions of years ago. These fossilized remains include imprints of shells and skeletal fragments. Exploring Sun Dung Cave is not for the faint of heart. The journey to the cave itself is arduous, involving a trek through dense jungle and rugged terrain. I kind of like to be uh, surprised, you know. Holy cow! Once inside, the challenges continue as explorers navigate through vast underground chambers, some of which require swimming or using ropes to climb. The cave's sheer size and complexity pose significant challenges for mapping and study. This adventure is both physically demanding and mentally exhilarating, attracting only the most intrepid adventurers and scientists. Given its pristine condition and ecological significance, ongoing efforts are in place to protect Son Dung Cave. The Vietnamese government, in collaboration with environmental organizations, has established strict guidelines for tourism and exploration to minimize human impact. Only a limited number of guided tours are permitted each year, ensuring that the cave's delicate ecosystem remains undisturbed. These measures help preserve the cave's natural beauty and ecological integrity, allowing future generations to experience this magnificent natural wonder. The Cham civilization, which flourished from the 2nd century to the 17th century in central and southern Vietnam, was a sophisticated culture known for its advancements in maritime trade, architecture and sculpture. The Cham people, predominantly Hindu, left behind numerous architectural marvels, including towers and temples that served as religious and cultural centers. The Cham towers are celebrated for their distinctive red brick construction and intricate carvings that adorn their surfaces. These structures are remarkable for several reasons. The Cham builders used a unique method of bricklaying without mortar, fitting the bricks together so precisely that they appear seamless. This technique remains a subject of study and admiration among modern architects and archaeologists. The towers are embellished with detailed carvings that depict Hindu deities such as Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma, as well as mythical creatures like Garuda and Naga. The reliefs often illustrate scenes from Hindu epics, showcasing the Cham's artistic prowess and deep religious devotion. Structurally, the towers typically have a rectangular or square base with a high tapering spire, symbolizing Mount Meru, the center of the universe in Hindu cosmology. Each tower was part of a larger temple complex that included sanctuaries, assembly halls and gates. While not directly adjacent to Sun Dung Cave, notable Cham towers in the broader region include Mai Sun Sanctuary and Po Nagar Towers. These sites provide context for the Cham presence in the area and are crucial for understanding their architectural and cultural impact. My Sun Sanctuary was rediscovered in the late 19th century by French archaeologists, including Camille Paris, who first documented the site in 1898. Subsequent explorations were conducted by Henri Parmentier and others in the early 20th century. My Sun served as a religious center and the burial place for Cham kings and national heroes. The site contains over 70 temples and towers constructed between the 4th and 14th centuries, representing the height of Cham architecture. The sanctuary's towers are arranged in clusters, each dedicated to a different deity. The most prominent structure is the B1 Tower, dedicated to Shiva, featuring elaborate carvings and a symbol of Shiva. Ponagar Towers, located in NHA Trang, were documented by French explorers in the 19th century. The site has been a place of continuous worship since its construction, which dates back to the 8th century. The Po Nagar complex was originally built to honor Yan Po Nagar, the goddess of the Cham people, who is believed to have created the earth, eaglewood and rice. The site also became a center for Buddhist worship over time. The towers at Po Nagar are characterized by their ornate carvings and the use of sandstone for detailing. The largest tower dedicated to the goddess Po Nagar stands over 75 feet tall and houses a statue of the goddess sitting on a lotus throne. The Bin Din Towers, located in the Bin Din province, showcase the later Cham architectural style, which includes more ornate carvings and the use of sandstone in addition to brick. These towers were built between the 11th and 13th centuries, 